What's up guys and welcome to the video. Just to catch those people up who are now joining us on this series, we're climbing from low to high elo playing only off meta builds that you guys suggest in the comments. On the last episode we played tank Leona top and finished on gold 5 39 LP. In today's video we're going to be playing full AP Sona mid. Should be a lot of fun so let's get started. Oh, I didn't buy Sona. God damn it. <laughs> okay, we're now on Gold 536 LP. Whoops. This is gonna be tough if that's um, Talon mid. We're gonna have to adjust our build path and adapt it to revolve around getting his onions. Anyway, let's set up the runes. We're going to be in the Sorcery Tree as the primary, running Airy, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Scorch. Okay, the secondary tree is where it gets a bit bit out there, I'd say. We're running Iron Skin and Mirror, depending on who you're versing. So this one we're going to be running Iron Skin for the flat 5 armor. And we're going to be running Revitalize. This is going to give us 5% stronger shields and heals, which is perfect for Sona. Plus, it's going to give us an additional 10% if they're low health. I think it's below 30%? 40%. So below 40%, we get 15% increased heals and shields. And you'd be so surprised how useful full AP Sona's heals are. 
Okay, we've just loaded into the game, and we're playing full AP Sona mid against a Talon who's running it Electrocute and Ignite. I've opted to go for Barrier, just because I think this is going to be a brutal matchup. Remember, as AP Sona, we don't have any pressure between, like, maybe level 1 to 9, I would say. Like, we're just going to be on the back seat trying our best to pick up farm. And something I want to say before we start this is that do not expect me to have high farm this game. It's going to be tragically low, maybe like 120 at 20 minutes. Just expect that, but that's like actually quite normal for this build anyway. Okay, at level 1 you start with Q and you charge it three times in the spawn. This is going to give you the passive proc when you enter the lane. Two... And also, it's going to save you the mana. I should have done this a bit earlier. Okay, there we go. Usually, you would trade with that one, but... I don't want to push into Talon. Not with Ignite and Electrocute. Oh my god. It begins. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try not commentate during the laning. I'm just going to purely farm, and I might just zoom ahead. I can live here. I had to use Barrier. Well, at least he's used his Ignite. I'm actually going to put two points in my W here. Because I don't want to go back just yet. I want to sustain. If we go back, I think we just lose the lane. Because he's going to get six first. We're going to lose all our experience. Hey, yeah, we lost the cannon. This is just rough. How long till I level up? That ain't good. We're in big, big trouble here. With AP Sona, I expect you to be either behind or even in lane. You're never going to be ahead. I do not want to gank. We're just so far behind. Nothing he does will help us. I just want to make it to 6. And get his onions. He's almost six. I need to heal up. Talon's gonna be able to free roam here because I can't hold him. I can't pressure him in lane. What are we? 36 to 24 and one kill behind. What we're really waiting for here as AP Sona is just to make it to the team fights. Once we hit the team fights, it's so easy for us to get Magi stacks, you just end up snowballing. I don't know where he is. That's unfortunate. I need to be aware that he's going to come from behind us, or he might gank bot. Going, but let's try our best to push it in. But that's not uh, Sona's strong suit. Her wave flare is tragic. I'm gonna assume that he altered. But as like a player, you should be telling your team if they ult. It's it's a big deal. Like this guy just died. Two of them died, and no one told me if he altered. That affects my lane as well, you know. Like, just because you're angry that you died to someone's lane, it doesn't mean you can't give them the information they need. Like, if they flash ignited to kill you, that, that helps me too. This guy's salty. I mean, I pinged MIA. There's not much... I, I can't have any pressure. It's just the champion I'm playing. By the way, I stopped going the um, Zonias because I feel like I've stabilized this lane to a point where I could start trading back. But I mean, if I died again, I would have for sure gone for the Zonyas. He's gone again. They need to watch out. This is unfortunate. They're gonna die here. Ooh, they lived. It's good news for me. Mate, this is Sona pushing. <laughs> this is all she's got. 
We're pushing as hard as we can. Got my eye on the town. What I need to do here is, because I know he's roaming, and there's nothing I can do about it, I need to be buying some pink wards and making sure everyone's aware of where he's going. That's going to be my next objective. Sona is trolling, so I'm over it. Okay, let's try Rembot. They're fighting. Oh, it's Red Ward. All of it's Red Ward. I gotta clear it before I go bot. They died anyway. I wouldn't have made it in time. It's okay. Ignore what they're saying and just focus on your own game. If we can make it to team fights, Sona offers so much healing late game that they won't be able to assassinate anyone. You just gotta endure this. And have faith in the build. Typing back to them just isn't going to help you at all. Defensive ult there. I'm just not going to risk it. Talon for sure has the power at the moment to one hit me. Electrocute, ignite, ult. Duskblade. I need to get him lower so if he does decide to dive. He has to retreat. Generally you get Sheen. First, for the cooldown reduction, plus it really helps you farm, which is really difficult. This is risky as I got no ult here. Yep. I'm not sure what he was expecting. It's very clear that he knew he would be there as well. I'm sure he'll find a way to pin that on me though. I'm actually quite impressed with our farm. This is much further ahead than I usually would be. I guess it's because Talon's roaming up. Oh fuck, no one saw that. Oh my god, that actually looked like I was griefing. I don't usually pick up the Dark Steel until I know for sure I'm going to be roaming or in teamfights. He's quite low mana, so if something breaks out here, a fight, we might end up ahead. Nice, we got a kill. Bit by bit, we're going to claw this back. He could jump this here. Sweet, he just wasted his ult. You know, things are actually looking quite good for us. Even though we had a pretty brutal start of the game. Like, Vayne's got a lot of kills. We've got a Shivana, strong frontline. Good splitting potential with the jacks. I'm sure a few of you are wondering when you hit your power spike. Your first power spike is after you get the Frost Queen claim. You know what? I might be greedy and sell it. Ugh, nah, I won't be greedy. I'll keep it. I was tempted to just sell that. I actually made an error coming back here. I should have stayed for an extra 100 gold. I was trying to flash save him. Okay, one for one. I mean, whatever. We'll take that. One for ones at this point aren't that bad. Roll that. Play safe. Stay in the back. Don't forget we have plenty of heals to sustain our team. Ideally, we would have had the Dark Seal before the team fighting, but unfortunately, that first death that we got set us back. But it's fine. Once you get 10 stacks on the Dark Seal, then you upgrade it to Magi. We got Udia right here. I'm gonna try to save him. 
Don't forget, we're running that keystone that allows us to heal more when they have low health. This is going down. Can't go through there. A town will jump me. I need to go the long way. Oh, okay, we got her. Give everyone some movement speed. Nice. Let's see how easy this gets stacked. If I just had a Medjay, gonna slow him. Ooh, so we can get mid tower here. Even if they get top, we'll trade. I don't know what he's doing. Tower is much more important than the kills. Oh, <laughs> close. Let's get out of here. I don't want to risk dying. I'm going to start working towards the Zonyas. The thing about the enemy team comp is even if I get a Medjai, Without Zonyas, I'm going to be risking the stacks too often. I don't want them to be focusing me. Or if they do, I want to be able to survive it. Normally, in a matchup where I wasn't so afraid of the enemy, I would be maxing my E second, because it would allow me to roam. But because Talon could just pop me instantly, I need the extra healing. We've got Talon just over here. So we're in a bad spot. I want to group with them. That's kind of why I didn't want to be there. Okay, we just have to give it up now. Getting those free gold stacks. Hope he did. That's what happens when you play with fire. Ninety-five mana for heal. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Well, we got a few flashes. A few ignites. Once Jax gets some more armor and can win the split push, I think our team comp will be superior by a lot. I'm actually just gonna sell the Doran ring. This guy needs to watch out. Five of them are MIA. You can only see Thresh. Even though he died there, honestly, it's probably worth for the tower at this point in the game. Because they won't be able to rotate to the Baron anyway. By the time they reach the tower, he'll, he'll have spawned. So what it comes down to is he traded about 1k gold for his 300. There we go. We can survive his all-in now. This could be our fight to come back. 3v4. No ult on the Talon. Get a guy in the back. Boom. Nice. We can Baron off that. If we immediately cross over, we can Baron. We can try S3, but it's going to probably take too long. And Talon can come and stop it. What we're hoping on now is that they get distracted by the vein. Like, Udi is going to be able to run here if he's smart. She needs to be showing in the bot. What is she doing? She is playing so greedy. Okay, Udia's butt. All of them are just playing a little wacky. I 
I don't know what Talon is. I want to make sure I'm standing back. I need this blue buff. Blue buff when Sona is so important. Trying to find the Talon. Okay, I can finish off Lucian. Put a ward here in case he jumps over. There he goes. We can catch pretty much anyone. No one's gonna outrun Sona. Couldn't be bothered letting him escape. We can push mid while they go bot. Okay, not ideal, but for the Infernal, it's not bad. I don't want him jumping over. Infernal's more important than killing them. But this guy should be with us. He's wasting our time. Just get the Infernal! Oh my god, I'm gonna get cut off here. Like, honestly, this is... Tarot should just be helping us on the Infernal. By doing that, he's distracting us. Thank god he didn't steal that. I'm trying to keep... I'm trying to keep Tarek alive while helping Udia. I want to pop the GA here. The button mash. You guys are gonna hear that through my mic, and it's just gonna be appalling. I'm just pressing every button I can. But this is what I was talking about when you're just enduring that terrible laning phase for this moment when you team fight and just zoom ahead. Now we can afford the Medjai, and I'm actually gonna get a Ludens. But the additional movement speed is insane. Like, I'll show you the movement speed right now, once we get out of the base. What are we up to? 550. I think, on average, you get to 650 movement speed after you get the Ludens. I'm worried about someone coming here. Holy flash. Don't forget, at this point in the game, my healing is insane. I can keep this guy alive forever. I'm not going to ult him here. Let's get Tau. It's more important. If we get two inhibs here, that's really good for us. They have four up. We can fight. Oh no, I was trying to Zonyas. I misplayed that. Damn, dude, we just lost so many stacks as well. That was tragic. Actually, I don't need help anymore. What am I smoking? <laughs> I'm tripping. Early game, though, you do need help with the blue. Oh my god. Giving him the speed boost. Game over. We can tank it. Oh, thank God. 
I just gotta run, save the stacks here. Maybe I can zoom in and poke him out. Oh, I couldn't save him. No! Can he save me somehow? I'm still alive! Ugh, I'm still alive! <laughs> oh, yeah. At this point, we just get the Baron, put one person in each lane to empower the minions, and you can just let the minions win for you. We don't need a risk. Vayne might want to 1v5, but even if she's dead, we can win with 4, as long as we get the Baron. This is not going to be ideal if um, Udia shows up here. We need to get off this. Trying to help him as much as I can, while not dying. I can heal. Okay, I think we got them here. I'll speed him up. I can kill the Thresh. Let's just go for the kills, the game's already over. Got him. All about that KDA at this point. Oh well, GG. Uh, Shivana did... Oh, I mean, Vayne did pretty good as well, but Shivana did most of the work, I would say. tarek has been scratched off the, the list entirely because he stole that blue buff, so it's got to be Shivana. I don't know about friendly, but we'll give him the old leadership. And there we go, we ended up 9, 4, 16, gaining 28 LP, leaving us at Quickly 60 check for the damage graph. And we're pretty well up there, considering like how far we got shut down at the start. That one kill put us so far behind. I know I've said that a few times, but it's the truth. Just changing your build path, forcing me to get that armor, slowed us down. But I think we did the right thing by just letting him roam. If we chase him, we're just not going to be able to get any gold, and then we're never ever going to be powerful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to suggest a build for me in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Y'all ain't on this level, bitches, tell Torella.